very rare I get to do a video where I'm excited about the background noise that's happening because that's the point of this video is to really hear how the Sankin CS3E and the Sankin CSM1 is performing in these less than optimal environments. In fact, directly to my left, which is your right, is a construction site of some sort of condominium. It's a beautiful day at Atlanta Beltline. So let's just get right to it. So as I toggle back to both microphones so you can hear the differences in background rejection and the sonic qualities of the microphone, let's just talk about the characteristics of each. Starting with the Senken CS3E, which uses a unique three capsule design. And because of this specific design of this microphone, according to Senken, it actually drastically reduces proximity effect. And also when using this short shotgun at greater distances from the sound source, you will not experience the typical loss of low end frequency that you may experience with other types of short shotgun microphones. Now, over here, Genesis is booming with the Sankin CSM-1. Now, the advantages of the CSM-1 right off the bat is that it's only four inches long and weighs a whopping two ounces. So it's very lightweight and fast to boom with. Hey guys, my name is Genesis. I'm a sound utility and I'm here helping Michael today to test his microphones. So we wanted to let you know that both microphones are actually working right now without the high pass filters enabled. They're both disabled on the microphones and on the 633. So what you're hearing now is actually like as raw as it can get. We're also right next to the freeway, but we wanted to show you how awesome the rejection is on this microphones. Like you shouldn't be able to listen to a lot of these things because um, of the way that they are working right now and we wanted you to hear both of them so you see how each of them works in this situation. Now that Genesis and I have had the opportunity to do a couple noisy exteriors, it's time to move to noisy interiors. Now in this environment, we've got the music playing in the background, they're working in the kitchen. This is a real live working restaurant who was kind enough to let me film inside here for this demonstration. You might be working on a docu-series or something where you have no control over the environment. They're not gonna let you turn off the music or turn off any of the kitchen equipment. So this could be a big determining factor of what type of microphone you might choose. You often hear mixers say, well, my go-to microphone for interiors is this, or my go-to microphone for exteriors is this. But keep in mind, that's not a hard, fast rule. A lot of that depends on not only the headroom that you're working with, but also how loud or quiet the backgrounds might be. Hi, I'm Patrick Michelli. I'm a sound utility, and we are here in a kitchen to test out these two microphones. Now, as you can see, this is a, a uh, fairly quiet environment, but the one concern we have here is a lot of reflections. We are not on a sound stage. This is a real kitchen. We've got eight foot ceilings. We've got hardwood floors. We've got countertops a lot of reflections. So what we want to do is see how these mics hold up in such a reflective environment. So now that we've had a chance to compare how the microphones sound in different environments, it's worth mentioning that one of the advantages of the CSM-1 is the size and the weight. It's got a low profile, it's only four inches long, and that can be advantageous when working in a low ceiling space or a cramped space like we are here. So whether you choose to use a Sankin CS3E or a Sankin CSM-1, or even another microphone for a noisy environment like this, it's important to understand that, well, one microphone isn't really necessarily better than the other. They're all tools and they all excel at different types of things. So when choosing it, hopefully this video was helpful for you to really hear the specific differences between between these two microphones. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this channel is dedicated to the craft of production sound mixing and location recording. So I encourage you to do so. Ring that bell to be notified about future videos and we'll see you guys soon.